Alola everyone and welcome to the channel. My name is Philly Beats You and in this video we're going to be taking a look at three impossible, three impossible Kanto evolutions that cannot happen in Pokemon Sun and Moon. There is no way that you can evolve these Pokemon in the game. So which Pokemon am I talking about? In fact, we're talking about Pikachu's evolved form Raichu, Cubone's evolved form Marowak, and Executute's not tall version of Executor, but the short stubby version. That is not possible to get in Pokemon Sun and Moon. So I have three Pokemon over here from the six generation games from Pokemon Y, transfer them through Poke Bank, and we're gonna evolve them in the game. These are the Kalos versions, and we're gonna evolve them in the game and see exactly what we get in Pokemon Sun and Moon. Because this is gonna put to rest a lot of theories that people have saying that, oh no, if you do this, you can evolve them into their Kanto forms. And I just wanna say it's not possible. So let's throw out our Decidueye. We got our experience here on and this should be enough to level up our... Whoa, what kind of moves do I got on here? Okay. But this should be enough to level up our Cubone that we have. Alright, so Trumpet goes down. Just like that, Cubone gets to level 28. And let's see what it turns into. Here we go. Now this is a Kalos Cubone. Let's see what it becomes. There it comes, look at the animation. Boom. And there it is. It is the Alolan Marowak, not the Kanto Marowak. And now let's also evolve our Pikachu from Kalos and our Executor using the items. And let's take a look at exactly what we're going to get when we evolve these two. So let's get that Thunderstone. Let's use it on Pikachu. Here we go. Pikachu is now evolving. Here comes the evolution. Goes up. Drops down. And there you got. There you go. Yeah, exactly. You got a Alolan Raichu. You do not get the Kanto Raichu. Even though. Even though. <laughs> Even though you bring Pokemon from other games. And this applies to all the other games. You can bring them from red, blue, yellow. It does not matter where you get them. I can even do this. These executes also from um, the Kalos region. But we're going to evolve it. And we're going to see exactly what it turns into. So here we go. This is just for experimentation. This is why we're going to look at it. Here we go. The background is green. So right away we know that it's going to be the Alolan form. Here it comes. Boom, and we got the giant long-necked Executor. There we have it. So, these were Kalos Pokemon brought into the game, and as you can see, it was impossible to evolve them into the Kanto forms. It automatically turns into the Alolan forms the game is locked when it comes to evolving these Pokemon so right there there is the way of locking it there's no way of getting it it stinks but there is a way of course of getting them in the game and that's through Pokebank so let's hop over into another game all right guys so I booted up Pokemon Y and I'm going to try to evolve my Cubone, my Pikachu, and my Execute into their original Kanto forms. So that's what I'm going to try to do right now. I'm just going to take out a Sunkern, and I think my Cubone should be evolving right after I do this into the regular Kanto Marowak. Here we go. There it is. Evolution is starting. Now, you can get these evolutions in every game that you could transfer into the Poke Bank. You get an X, you can evolve them in Y, you can evolve them in Omega Ruby, Alpha Sapphire, Black, White, Black 2, White 2, Red, Blue, and Yellow. All those games, you can definitely send them right over. But the moment you try to evolve them in Alola as in their regular forms, they will not happen. It won't happen. The game prevents it. It is impossible to evolve um, Cubone into a Kanto Marowak or 
Pikachu into a Kanto Raichu or Execute into a Kanto Executor. So that's not going to happen. So I'm going to go to my bag now and we're going to evolve the final two mods here. We're going to grab the Thunderstone and we're going to give it to our Pikachu. And Pikachu is going to turn into the OG Raichu. The Kanto Raichu that we're all used to. That isn't surfing on its tail. So here we go. Pikachu's going to evolve right now. There we have it. But guys, I gotta admit, the Sun and Moon evolutions with the whole entire light ball bouncing up and then coming down looks so much cooler. So there we go. We got our Pikachu into Raichu. And we're gonna go for a last one. The strangest one. I mean, it feels weird now looking at it. Because I'm so used to seeing the Alola version of um, Executor. But hey, who knows, right? So we're gonna grab our... Our, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There we go. We're gonna grab our Leaf Stone. We're gonna give it to our Execute. And it's going to evolve into Executor, a Pokemon that you can actually see on the screen. Its head does not extend all the way up, and that's a lovely thing. So there we go. A regular <laughs> Execute. No problems there, nothing strange here, but now I feel after I seeing the Alola one, this one looks really weird to me, I don't know, pretty weird. But there we go, we got our three Kanto forms, and basically what we're going to do at this point is we're going to save our game, and we're going to open up Pokebank and send them over to Sun and Moon. So just like as the screen says, we're going to be taking our Pokemon from X, Y, Omega Ruby, Alpha Sapphire. In this case, I got mine from Pokemon Y. I'm going to be shipping them into the Pokebank. And from the Pokebank, I'm going to drop them into Pokemon Sun and Moon. What this means is I'll never be able to send them back to Pokemon X, Y, Omega Ruby, and Alpha Sapphire. They're done. It is only going to be between Pokebank and Pokemon Sun and Moon. So that's what we're going to do right now. So let's go ahead and take a look at what our three... Kanto! Three Kanto Pokemon look like. Alright guys, I got the Pokemon from Pokebank. Let's go into the grass and let's check out what their animations look like in the game. Let's go. Here comes the first encounter. Ooh, Rattata. What are we going to throw out against them? An Executor. So this is the Kanto Executor. We'll take a little moment so you guys can take a look at its animations. If it does anything, does it turn around? What does it do? Seems to just be dancing there. <laughs> Not really doing much. All right, so it bobs up and down, nothing special. So let's see what it looks like with the Z-Move. Get some Bloom Doom up in here. Oh yeah, Kanto Executor using Bloom Doom. That's what we want to see. Oh man. Flower Power, Rattata, you are done, my friend. GG. Rattata is down for the count. The next Pokemon that we'll be looking at is Raichu. So let's see Raichu's animations. And let's see what it looks like with a Z-Move as well. So we got a Wingle. Wingle is in a lot of trouble because it is a water flying type. So let's take a look at Raichu. It'll take a few seconds to just stare at the animations. Does Raichu look around? Does it bounce up and down? Or does it just keep its static animation of moving in little bobs? Uh, you doing anything, Raichu? No, it looks like Raichu's just going to hold that pose, not do anything different. All right, so let's move into that Z-Move, and we're going to be using Gigavolt Havoc on this Wingle. So let's see what our Kanto Raichu looks like when it takes down this Wingle. Oh man, this is going to be sick. Raichu surrounded itself with the Z-Power. Oh, baby. Oh, here we go. Boom! Get wrecked, Wingle! And that is how you end a Wingle. Oh man, GG. And last but not least, let's take a look at Kanto Marowak. Now the Alolan form spins around its bone uh, like a nice little tribal dance, but I wonder what Kanto Marowak's animations are. 
Oh man, that's pretty boring. He's is he just gonna stand there? Let's see. He yeah. Oh my gosh, he he's just standing there. He's he's literally not doing anything. That's that's pretty lame. That's pretty lame. All right. Well, since Kanto Marowak doesn't really do any animations, let's move right into the Z move and finish off the slow poke. So we're going to do the Tectonic Rage on it. Let's see an awesome Z move here. At least we get a little animation. He's just standing still, man. Now we're going to see him in action. There we go. to the mantle of the earth done oh that was pretty cool all right nice so marowak gained all right so that is it guys that's pretty much it for all the canto forms in alola that's exactly how to get them so just a quick recap you cannot evolve them in alola if you want the canto forms you must must evolve them from other games and then bring them into Pokemon Sun and Moon. Do not make the mistake thinking you can bring them from other games into Sun and Moon uh, with their pre-evolved forms and then evolve them. So that's it guys. If you enjoyed this video, please smash that like button. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe. My name is Philly Beats You and I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. I'm out.